honor to have you here today. Good evening, a very good evening. Um, Lara, you had a stupendous journey. Every role that you've taken up, whether personally or professionally, you have excelled. Tell us something about your journey with Ms. Diva. How has this role been for you? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is my seventh year, yes? Eighth? No, but my seventh year. My seventh year with the Times of India group as mentor to the girls who participate at Miss Diva. So Miss Diva 2020, I promise you, this night and the night of the finale never gets old because it just brings back memories of 19 years ago, standing on a very similar stage like this, feeling as nervous as these girls, this new batch that we're gonna get is gonna come in. And the feeling that you get to represent your country, to participate, to hope to win, it never gets old and it never changes. And 19 years later, it honestly still feels like the most incredible journey I've been on in my lifetime. I mean, 19 years ago, the 12th of May, my life changed forever. The Times of India has been a really, really big part of that. And it feels really incredible to come back year after year and give back a little bit of it as mentor to these girls. And clearly, there's no one better to do that. There are girls who look up to you. They want to be like you. What are the qualities that you are looking for in Diva Miss Diva 2020? So first and foremost, very, very excited. 2020, we have a brand new sponsor. We've had Leva that's come on board. And the values that Leva stands for as a brand are very much in line with what Miss Diva stands for and what we're looking for in our girls. So for me specifically, and I'll speak for myself when I come in as mentor or I come in as a host or as um, somebody who trains these girls through, I'm looking for someone who can break stereotypes. So for too long, we've had you know, the typical, stereotypical idea of what we expect beauty pageant winners to be, what we expect our beauty queens to be. But that entire concept has changed so drastically over the years that today I want a woman who's confident enough to extremely confidently express herself and completely shatter that stereotype. I hope the girls out there are listening. <laughs> okay, Lara, finally, what can we expect from this season of Leela well, you can expect some really fearless, spunky, incredible women that I know are already ready to be selected. Our selections start across the country, in fact, actually almost simultaneously. So we're going to go across the cities, across India, pan India to find contestants that are going to compete this year. And I promise you this year is going to be a year like no other. I know we say that every year, but the girls just keep getting better and better. I mean, when I see them, it makes me feel like I was the naivest, you know, Johnny come nothing lately when I participated. So I mean, I mean I'm so proud. You saw some of the girls, some of our past winners on stage here tonight. And I've worked with these girls for the first time. Some of them face the camera for the very first time in their lives. And to see them come such a long way, to see how confident they are today, forget about what happened in life or where they're going or where, what they've been already. I think these women already are just the most incredible young women. I mean, to me, they're an inspiration. Well, honestly, honestly, you were very, very incredible. I still remember you had the highest score and that was Miss Universe pageant. And I'm ready for it to be shattered. I know. I mean, what was it? 9.99 or something. But I'm ready for a perfect 10. It's time. Let's hear it for Leva Miss Diva shattering that. Thank you, Lara. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Please be on stage. Thank you. I hope this mic works, though, for the longest time. I feel like I've been I'm waiting to talk. Shati wala chair. Shati. Right. So, I mean, uh, we just want to, you know, uh, kickstart this entire press conference. Did it even feel like a press conference, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Come on, say yes or no. It yeah. looked like beauty surrounded us like full on. Of course, uh, Lara chairing the main seat here, the hot seat, I must say. Lara, we love you. And uh, this journey with you has only been fabulous. I have seen how uh, our contestants have grown over the years and when you were talking about it, forget where they're going, forget where they're headed. It's all because of your aura and your spirit. We are living this dream from dreams to reality. Thank you so much. Can we hear it for Lara Dutta? Everybody, please. So Lara, uh, a rewind, okay? A quick rewind. 
19 years is what you said. Uh, Leva Miss Diva 2020 would be your 20th year. That year, I remember, I mean 20 years back when we do uh, have our finale in February, uh, you, Dia and Priyanka complete 20 years and all three ladies got us back the international titles. Can we give it up for that year 2000? I think all three of you just opened uh, India and put India on the global map like none other year. So just to rewind. <laughs> Very quickly, before we rewind 19 years, I mean, we will rewind 90 years, 19 years, but I just want to say, um, I was discussing this with members of the media earlier this evening, you know, and they said, what do you do for the girls, apart from mentoring them for um, a contest, you know, how does that leave them, the girls that don't make it to the top three on that final night, what happens to them? So to be really honest, I think um, for me, with the Times of India group, I have been around here for so long that I have seen an entire, within the organization, entire teams grow, begin, finish their journeys, new people come in, new blood, new idea, new thoughts. And within the Times of India, I think the whole idea, apart from just conducting a contest that chooses a winner and looking at it as a business, we also create an incredible ecosystem for these girls who win, for even former pageant title holders. It's about creating um, an ecosystem of a sisterhood, you know, where women, regardless of whether they win internationally or not, they have a safe place. They have um, some place to call home where you can actually come in regardless of what your life experience has been and share that and, and exchange ideas and lean on each other. And it's, it's amazing to be part of that ecosystem. You know, Natasha here, by the way, is my biggest diva. And I say this with all my love. I've seen this girl come into the Times of India, become this incredible vocal voice. She spends a lot more time with these ladies than I do, and they're terrified of her, which is great, because she rules over them like a true diva. So she's really somebody that they kind of look up to and want to emulate. The word is biggest. <laughs> Biggest no, yeah. <laughs> Rogan, unfortunately, is our one man who's had to deal with all the divas that he's created, <laughs> including the one that he puts in charge. <laughs> so, you know, we have, um, as you can see, this is a family that's been there and, and, and they, you know, a relationship that's been there for years. And we're looking at building that, starting, of course, with this year, 2020, with Leva. But please, welcome. And I promise you, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so 19 years ago, three title holders, three winners that went out internationally, threw up a Hail Mary, and came home with three titles. You know, I think the Times of India used that picture of yours where there's a teardrop falling yeah. right here and you're getting crowned as Miss Universe. And that picture, I can't forget, ever, so. Uh -huh. You know, but like you said, it's gonna be 20 years. I feel like it was somebody else's life. I feel like that happened to somebody in else entirely. Because you either move with the times, <laughs> or you just get stuck and stagnate. But yeah, I think, like you said, we say it every year, but how wonderful would it be for another title holder to come back? God willing, fingers crossed, uh, I hope uh, this year marks it, and next year, of course, just a double whammy. I just hope that happens for us at Miss Universe, at Miss Super National. Thank you so much, Lara, for being here. Seriously, it really means a lot. Uh, I, want to, I want to pose a question to Rajiv. Rajiv, uh, this is the first year with Leva, and uh, I want to understand from you, why has Leva associated with Miss Diva? Well, first of all, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you, Lara. And thank you, Times of India, for making us part of that family. And we are extremely excited. You're welcome and always welcome. <laughs> thank you. You know, Brand Leva uh, encourages the women of today to be uninhibited, unrestrained, confident, poised, these are perhaps the exact qualities that are required to be a Miss Diva. And I think this is a symbiotic relationship. And we really hope 
that this will go a long way. We are hoping that too, sir. We are hoping you. that too. You better make it happen again, okay? <laughs> no, really, I think it's an amazing marriage and it's, it's just a seamless fit. And uh, uh, the, the terminologies that we've seen the brand Leva hold or the, the features that it has, it's completely a seamless fit with Diva. So thank you so much. Can we please give it up for Leva and Rajiv here, please? Rajiv, if you could, okay, could you pass the mic to Mr. Rohit Kupa Kumar as well? Hello, Rohit. How are you? How are you? I'm sitting in the office today. <laughs> okay, it's really odd for me to call him Rohit because he's my boss, so, yeah, so I have to like uh, really be prim and proper now. Yeah, so uh, Rohit, how important is this partnership, this beauty pageant of Miss Diva with the brand like Leva for you? Uh, good evening, people. Thank you so, so much on behalf of the Times Group to be uh, part of this best call and also a uh, beginning of a new journey for us. Uh, before I get into the, the importance of a partnership, what I would like to say, in my 26 years of career through media, I have never ever had a partner on any property of mine which rhymed like a poem. Leva is Diva. Okay, so I think there itself we started off a very, very good uh, I think partnership on a great note because uh, we could have asked for somebody, you know, uh, like like a Leva kind of a brand to be partnering with us, especially somebody who is into new age, you know, garment, as I would call it, or the fabric as I call it. And and I think we also are evolving ourselves. And I think this part of the journey also will be very, very good. So uh, uh, just to tell you about partnerships, success is built on partnerships. Uh, throughout all our events, be it the group events like Film Fair, Mitchie Music Awards, we are in this for a long haul. You know, and for us, the travel and the distance is a lot. So, some, you know, co travelers, partners, we look forward to, they come to us because they also feel that their objectives are fulfilled. And during that journey, a couple of years or maybe a decade, we would like to make sure that through our, uh, you know, events, their objectives are met. That's the importance of partnerships. Great, thank you so much. Can we please give it up for Mr. Roy Kumar? I'm going to request uh, Rajiv to pass the mic to Shrishti, please. Shrishti, apart from the rhyming of Leva and Diva, before, of course, we throw the floor open for media questions, how does Leva complement Diva? You know, I'm. Uh, uh, good evening, everybody. Natasha, it's good that you asked me this question because it's the thought that I've been carrying ever since we started talking about partnering. You know, Lara, you mentioned about 19 years. I think in the 20th year, it doesn't feel like this is the first year for Leva to come together. It is so much in the flow. Whatever we have seen with all these years and the girls, one spirit that unites every one of them is being fearless. Being fearless interpreted as living in their own flow. Living in the flow of the universe and not worrying about anything. Just being yourself. So I honestly feel that the compliment is so natural that it really doesn't feel like it's year one. And honestly, for, from our side, I think it's a, a partnership also which we intend to look at uh, you know, for a longer time. And it's not just like one one year knee jerk sponsor kar diya ho gaya. It's a philosophy that I believe that will carry us forward and hopefully see us getting the title this year. Great. Thank and you so much. Thank you, Shrishti. Thanks a lot. Can we give it up for Come on. Natasha, what? I just want to say something. Yes. I forgot to say this. Uh, you know, in my first job, I was, I was again back in TUI, my, my media beginnings in Bangalore. And, uh, Lara also is from Bangalore. So, incidentally, I used to also that time handle the feminine Miss India locally in Bangalore. I remember there's this girl who walks into office to come and submit her portfolio to take part for Miss India. I mean, that kind of silence in office I've never ever felt in my life. There's this woman who walks in, and the whole floor goes like, like that. She comes, leaves the portfolio, says bye, and she leaves for 20 minutes, nobody speaking. I really hope this year, somebody walks into our auditions like that, and all of us are like all stuck. The, the thing is, I'm not able to meet somebody like that, so I keep telling Lara, Lara, find one more Lara. 
Wish we could have many more Laras, really. I, I totally agree with that.